Harrison, how have you found the start of the season so far? I think it's been a good start. I think obviously the first two games was um, important just to get the wins on board to sort of settle the nerves. And then obviously a good performance at um, Oxford. Obviously the result was disappointing, but at um, this point in the season, it's just quite important to get the uh, performances and then gives you the belief and then you'll hope that the results will come. Yeah, quite a different feel with the game on Saturday in that maybe from the outside looking in you'd be thinking, oh, they use 0-0 heading into stoppage time, doing really well to maybe hang on for a point. But actually the story of the game, even more frustrating really, in that you put so much into it and could, could have easily been on for a win. No, I think, yeah, I, I think we were quite comfortable in the sense that um, first half we probably dominated chance-wise and then the second half they had a couple, but it wasn't, we didn't feel like we were hanging on. And then the goals come a little bit out of nowhere. Um, so if anything, it's just quite a good learning lesson um, for us just to make sure that we stay on it for the whole duration of the game. Um, and so, yeah, if anything, it's just a good learning lesson, learning curve and just um, need to learn and improve. But outcome. Yeah, I guess you're waiting now for a similar sort of away game so you can put all the same bits into practice and hopefully get the result. It'll be a case of just itching really for that to happen. Yeah, of course. I mean, you you always want to win. So we want to put that right. Um, we just can't get too down. We need to take the positives and sort of learn and sort of, um, sort of build on that belief that we can play um, against good teams um, away from home, which we maybe didn't do so much last season. So in that sense we can take the positives and then obviously work on the negatives. You had an injury at the back end of last season, was that all cleared up by the time you started for, for pre-season? Yeah that was just, um, I mean more than anything it was more just um, coming to the end of the season just making sure it wasn't infected and stuff like that, it wasn't. So going into the pre-season I was 100% fine. Yeah and of course a different challenge for you this season in that you were battling Jack for the left-sided positions or the left-back role last time around. You've had Brandon come in. How's that been so far? Yeah, good. Brandon's a really good player, really nice lad. Um, again, it's like Jack. It's just um, only good for both of us and the team, just having good competition. We um, probably, throughout the team, didn't probably have enough competition last season, um, not a big enough squad. And this season, you can see we definitely have that, and that's only to be positive but not only the players and pushing each other and uh, sort of improving, but also for the team. Yeah, a case of a couple of faces having come in and then for a few of the players who were maybe more on the fringes or suffered with injuries, whatever it might be, last season there are a, a couple who have the opportunity to, to really kick on this time. Yeah, I think, um, as I said, this season is a fresh slate. Everyone sort of starts and everyone just wants to get out there, show what they can do. Um, we've got a great squad, so, I mean, it's only two, three games in. It's going to be a long season. There's 50 plus games or whatever. So everyone will have their part to play. You might not play for the first bit and then you might have a massive part to play for the rest of the season. And I sort of experienced that last season. I didn't play at the start, but then played most of the second part of the season. So football is just such an unpredictable game. So anything can happen. So it's just making sure you're ready to play when you are. Has the, has the novelty worn off League One now? Having been in there for a season, is there a, a different feel this time around? I think um, I don't think the novelty's worn off because it's just such a still great teams to play and um, it's testing yourself at that level again. But I mean, I think from last season we just take the positives that we we are a good team. It's not such an unknown. Um, we know we can compete at that level. So I mean, that's not to say that we can take our foot off the gas, but we have this confidence within ourselves that we know we can do it and so it's up to us now just to make sure we do it. What was it like last weekend getting stuck in traffic? I know you've had that sort of thing in the past but when the game ended up getting moved a little bit how much of a distraction was that? I think we've just got such a good group of players that just get on with it. We don't um, make try and make excuses. I think easily um, it's quite an easy way of just using that as an excuse and just <laughs> Um, blaming that but we don't want to do that I think I mean, we still had good preparation time uh, maybe staying with coach for a bit longer but it's not the worst thing in the world cool that's great for me Harrison what's the the aim for the team this year do you think I think just improving from last season I think um, obviously it's a very competitive league so I mean to say we're gonna get into the playoffs might be a bit ambitious but 
to improve from last year just has to be the aim and obviously wherever that takes us will take us. And on a personal level as well, is the aim just to try and get as many games under your belt as possible this season that we've got to see? Yeah, I think um, obviously it's going to be very difficult because Brandon's a very good player and we've got such a great squad. So um, obviously I just want to keep improving as much as I can. Um, and I mean, yeah, hopefully me and Brandon push each other and just make each other better players. What do you make of Exeter this weekend as well? I think uh, obviously they've got the sort of momentum from last year, which is very important and they've started well. So they'll be on a really good, um, they'll be in a great place. So it's going to be a very difficult game. Um, we know that. We, I mean, every game in this league is really difficult. So if you're not on it 100%, you will get punished. And we know that and we need to sort of, we learned that last season um, at times. So, I mean, they're obviously a great team. They've got a couple of great results. So they'll be full of confidence. So it'll be a good game. Yeah, you mentioned about those results as well. The, the 7-0 and the, the 4-0, they come into this game in some in really good form, don't they? Yeah, I think um, obviously they'll be flying. I mean, hopefully maybe there'll be a little bit um, sort of, uh, might have a little bit of uh, overconfidence potentially. But I mean, I mean, we, we just have to see. It's going to be a good game. Um, we know what we can do. So we just, we can only focus on ourselves. What did you make of the draw against Southampton as well? Yes, yeah, a good draw. Um, obviously, uh, another premiership team and another good test for us so it'll be a good, good one for the players good one for the fans